guys and welcome back to a new video today's video is about the packing process what you should pack or what you should leave at home this video is going to be a little bit more talking so i don't know grab yourself some snacks or coffee or something else little heads up this is what you should not bring don't forget to subscribe my channel and also follow me on my instagram so you're updated for everything what's new and wait until the end because I'm going to show you how we got to make those military burritos. I know it's not the official way. I think it's like ranger roll or something, but I call it the military burrito because it looks like one. And I'm going to show you how to do that so you can stack more t-shirts in your suitcase. And yeah, so wait until the end. I'm going to put you a tutorial right there and I would say let's go. As you might heard, the borders are gonna be open again soon, so it's time for new au pairs. When I was in that packing process, I asked myself, how can I pack myself and my life in Germany into one big suitcase and one carry-on? And so the answer is, you just don't. I packed a lot of, are you allowed to say shit on here? I don't think so. Okay, unnecessary stuff, which I never worn or just used it's still here or I sent it back to Germany. So I will help you a little bit figuring out what you have to pack, what's like really important and stuff that you can just leave at home. Don't forget, it's America. They have coupons for everything. Coupons, coupons. They have that for literally everything. They have outlets everywhere you go. There's TJ Maxx. Underwear from Kellen Klein is $3 by TJ Maxx. So I think we're gonna be fine. Let's talk about the topic jeans. When you're from Germany, like me, you know that we wear jeans for literally everything. You go to work with that, you just wear it everywhere. And so I packed a lot of jeans, obviously. I'm a kindergarten teacher. I know how it is to work with kids. And then you're like robbing on the floor and then you're, what's the part called oh, under your knee? <laughs> Like the blood flow just like stops because you're like kneeing the entire day and then your booty comes out and you're like trying to get that up and then this thing where your belt is like ripped and all that stuff. Jeans are super uncomfortable. Everyone knows that, but everyone wears it. And then I moved here and my host mom said, don't bring any jeans for work because you will end up wearing leggings. And I was like, no, nope, I'm going to be the first one who's going to wear jeans. I don't know why I tortured myself. It was the Germanist in me. So my advice for you is bring leggings. Even though you're gonna say you're gonna end up wearing jeans, you're gonna, I will give you maybe two weeks on top. Wear leggings. It's so much more comfortable. Everyone wears it. It's normal here. Just black leggings, do it. Just pack five leggings or something, roll them up, put them in your suitcase and you have them. Bring, I don't know, maybe two jeans if you really want to wear them out, like when you go out for coffee or lunch with your friends or partying, whatever you're gonna do in your free time, but maximum minimize it to like two or something. Another thing that I love wearing here because it's so humid and hot are those little tennis skirts. They have, um, I mean, obviously because they're tennis skirts, they have like those shorts underneath and that you can like literally just wear that in a cute t-shirt and then you have a nice outfit you look cute and it's comfortable and you can like work with kids you can run you can even do like i don't know some weird activity and no one can see anything so those are great i got them on amazon for like 20 dollars. it's really not that expensive here um another tip is pack for the season that you're gonna arrive and also for the state that you're in so i arrived in august and i don't know why but i thought i need to bring my fur jackets yes i love fur jackets and sweaters and everything so i had those vacuum bags and i put all this stuff in the vacuum bag try to like shove it in there and like roll it and try to get all the air out and put everything in here it takes too much space away so Pack for the season that you're gonna arrive. If you live where it's warm, you don't necessarily need a winter jacket. You can come here, go to the outlet when you arrive, buy a winter jacket for $30 from Armani or whatever brand you like, 
and that's it. You don't need to bring it. So leave it at home. You don't need it. Next topic, shoes. It's the same thing. Plan on what are you gonna do there? Like if you live in Colorado and you love hiking, I would probably consider wearing your hiking shoes on the flight instead of putting them in the suitcase because they're really heavy or you just gonna buy them there. As I said, they probably have a coupon for it in the newspapers and then you get them for like, I don't know, 40 bucks. Flip flops or like those shower shoes or something. Those are always good and they don't need that much space. And just some sneakers and that's it. I watched my videos and all the pairs were like, nah, you don't need this and you don't need that. And what did I do? I packed exactly that when they said you don't need. You don't need it. Trust me. I would also recommend, I don't know, bring like five t-shirts, something that's comfortable for you. Don't forget, you're here for a job. You're here to be an au pair, to be with the kids, to play with the kids, especially if you have like young kids as I do. You're on the floor constantly. Be comfortable, wear stuff that you like, but make it comfortable for yourself and for your job so you can do your job good. Yes, I understand we need nice clothes for going out and showing off and partying. Bring that. Like, I don't know, bring like one or two cute dresses that you absolutely love and two or three bodysuits or whatever. It's like trend right now what you love wearing when you go out partying. Do that, of course. So stuff like underwear, I mean, I don't need to tell you how much underwear you need. I don't know why, but you always pack too much underwear in case you have an accident, which didn't happen to me since I was like six years old, but we still all do it. So <laughs> pack underwear. Sports bras are always nice because to be honest, when you were like with the kids all day, there's nothing nicer to wear a sports bra. So I would recommend bringing some sports bras. So we have leggings, we have underwear, we have socks, we have shoes, we have some t-shirts, we have some party stuff. Now we are coming to the topic like makeup and shower stuff, tampons, like all that stuff. Pack the makeup that you like, but don't overpack because we have so many cool brands here. If you have like something that you really hold on to, bring it with you, no problem. Then stuff with like shower stuff and shampoo, conditioner. It is, it's true, it's a little bit more expensive here, but they're huge bottles. So um, those are like, here's my hand to it. Like those are big, um, it's like $8. I have this since a half year now. Yes, it's for man, but it smells so good. So I was like, whatever. And here is my silver shampoo. It is big, I have this since last Christmas and it's still like so much in here. So as I said, it's a little bit more expensive, but you also get more product. So my recommendation for you is Go to your DM or Gosman or whatever you have in your hometown. Buy those little travel size and put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in your carry-on in case you just need to stop somewhere, your flight is delayed and you just want to like take a quick shower or refresh yourself. Bring those little travel sizes and that's it. You don't need to bring shampoos, conditioner or anything else. You can buy everything here. America is not out of this world. It, it has everything. <laughs> Maybe even better. I don't know. It has everything. Next thing. I bought tampons and like brought tampons with me because we don't like in Germany, we don't have those plastic things. And so I was like, oh my God, I don't know how to use that. So I brought my own tampons. Yeah, you can you can think whatever you want right now, but I was just like, I don't know, I don't I don't trust that. Um, don't do it. It's super unnecessary. It you could save a lot of space if you just buy the tampons here. If you don't want this plastic thing, then you can just take them out and use them how you want to use them. Don't bring it. I know we all have like our bags and stuff that we want to bring or like jewelry or some weird stuff would be love and you want to bring it. The thing is you will not end up needing it or you will not end up wearing it. Because if you haven't worn it in Germany or wherever you're from in forever, you're not going to start wearing it here all of a sudden. So no, <laughs> just leave that at home. The thing is you come here and at some point, you're gonna start to change 
and you want to fit into this American life. You want to start finding your place here. And for that, you have different clothes, you have different interests, and all of that is a process. So most of the time, stuff that you wear from home keeps you there in your thoughts and what you're doing. But if you want to like adjust to this life here and you want to be a part of this, you automatically start trying to fit in here and you start wearing stuff, what the American girls wear, like college sweaters, whatever it's going to be, you start adjusting into this new life here. So long story short, it's important to bring stuff that you really, really love and you want to have here, yes. But just think about what your goal is coming here. If it's like a challenge, okay, you want to challenge yourself of living here for a year and you're not interested in like looking further, then it's okay to just bring all of your stuff. But if you're like me who are like, I really want to adjust into an American life because you are this kind of person who's like, no, I want to live here. I want to build a life here. I want to fit into here. Then you start realizing if you bring all that stuff from home, it keeps you there. So I ended up adjusting more to the American life and change my clothes and be thoughtful with what you're putting in your suitcase. You only have a certain amount of weight that you can put in here. You also should consider bringing uh, gifts for your host parents or your host kids, which also has to be in here. If you have any ideas for presents for host parents, you can also write this in the comment section down below. I think a lot of our parents would appreciate having a little help with that. I can also do a video about it if you're interested in if yes, give me a thumbs up so I know I'm gonna film that soon. Another topic which is important to talk about is like um, electronic devices. If you're from a country who uses those, how do you call that? Oh god, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the uh, YouTube thing. <laughs> but if you use those, um, you need an adapter, and you can buy those on Amazon, and then it has those three things for. America, your hair dryer, your curling iron, your straightening thing, it will not work here, so just leave that at home. They're really cheap to buy here, like TJ Maxx or Target, they're like, I think, $15, $20. It's really not expensive, and you can just like buy it here, or maybe your host mom has some, and you can ask if you can borrow that. So the only advice that I brought um, was my laptop, and I bought those um, adapters. My advice is to just bring maybe your laptop, your iPad or whatever, and then um, one or two of those adapters. So now I'm gonna show you how to roll those little military burritos so you can stack all your stuff. Okay, so you have your t-shirt here and you're gonna flatten it out. So it's like kind of straight, not wrinkly. And then you have the bottom here and you fold it a little bit in. It's like a few inches. So that's really important to make that like this. So you have this little pouch and this is really important for later. Then you're gonna turn your t-shirt. Watch out that the pouch does not disappear. And then you fold over the middle. All the military is gonna be like, oh my God, it's so uneven, but we're not in the military, so we're good. Then you fold it like that, okay. And then the other side, so it ends up here. Just flatten it out so you don't have to iron too much later. And then you have this little whatever that is with a pouch down here. Then you're gonna turn it that the pouch is all the way on the end. And then you're gonna start rolling your burrito. <clears throat> Try to roll it really tight and flatten out if it's like a little bit wrinkly. Doesn't have to be perfect, we're, as I said, we're not in the military. So you roll all the way up to the end and then you see that you have here this little like, yeah, pouch. And you're gonna put it around. And then you have a military burrito.
Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope it was a little bit helpful. If you have any more questions, feel free to text me here on my Instagram or just make a comment down below so I can answer them to you. Don't stress out. Everything is gonna be fine. Even if you forget something, you can buy it here. Everything is gonna be okay. But my question for you is, for, or like for the au pairs who are already here, what was a thing that you packed and never ended up using or wearing? You were just like, why did I even bring that? <laughs> that would be really interesting to know. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in today. Bye.